With Virtual DJ's Auto Mix feature, you can create effortless, hands-free DJ transitions, like this. Welcome back to Young Simba Empire, your ultimate hub for virtual DJ tutorials and tips. In today's video, we'll explore one of Virtual DJ's most powerful tools, the Auto Mix Editor. I have already made a previous video introducing you to the Auto Mix feature. So this time, we'll explore how to set up and manage an Auto Mix playlist, how to customize automatic mix styles for a personal touch, and how to create professional quality transitions with just a few clicks. Whether you're just starting out with Virtual DJ or are already experienced, this tutorial will help you master auto mix so you can free your time and elevate your DJing skills. To kick things off, let's start by creating an auto mix playlist. An auto mix playlist in Virtual DJ is a specially created list of songs that the software can automatically transition between, essentially mixing tracks together without manual intervention. To create your auto mix playlist, First open the Auto Mix tab in Virtual DJ found at the bottom right corner of your screen. To add songs to your playlist, you can either drag and drop individual tracks from your library and into the Auto Mix tab, or, if you already have a pre-made folder of songs, right-click on the folder in your library and select Add to Auto Mix. Once you create the playlist, you're ready to move on to the next step. Organizing your songs for smooth transitions. To achieve this, I recommend using harmonic mixing, a DJing technique that pairs songs with compatible keys for seamless blending. To apply harmonic mixing in Virtual DJ, simply right-click on the top bar in your Auto Mix playlist, then select Key Difference from the drop-down menu. This adds a new column showing how much the key of one track needs to shift to match the next track. The values range from 0 to 6. 0 means the keys are perfectly compatible, 1 to 3 indicates minor adjustments may be needed but still sound good, and 4 to 6 suggests that mixing these tracks might not sound as smooth. For example, when I load a song on any deck, the key difference column will update to show the compatibility between tracks. The lower the number, the better they'll sound together. In addition to having matching keys, pay close attention to the BPM difference between songs. The closer the BPMs, the smoother the transitions will feel. By organizing your playlist based on key and BPM, you're setting a solid foundation for Virtual DJ's Auto Mix feature to deliver that perfect transition. If you've seen my earlier Auto Mix video, you're already familiar with the built-in transitions available in the Auto Mix menu, and while these transitions are helpful, they're not always perfect. So that's where the Auto Mix editor comes in. The Auto Mix Editor is a tool that lets you edit the automated mixing process by adding your own transitions. Before we dive into creating custom transitions, Let's first get familiar with the Auto Mix Editor and its features. To access the editor, go to the Auto Mix Options menu and click on Auto Mix Editor. Now let's break down its features starting with the Playlist section. This is where you'll see your playlist. Over here, tracks are displayed in pairs, which makes it easy to edit transitions between songs. We'll come back to this section shortly when we start editing transitions. Next to the playlist is the Timeline. The Timeline is your visual workspace. It displays waveforms for each track, giving you a clear view of how songs overlap. The top waveform represents the first track, while the bottom waveform represents the next track in the sequence. You can zoom in or out on the timeline using your mouse scroll wheel, which is especially useful for fine-tuning transitions. Located above the timeline is the scroll bar, which shows the current zoom level of the waveforms. You can drag it to any part of the timeline to quickly jump between sections and make precise adjustments. At the bottom of the timeline, you'll find the playback controls. 
there is a play button which starts or stops the playback of the playlist, a function that can also be done by double-clicking on the timeline to play a specific section. Next to it is the play hold button, which plays the auto mix while the button is pressed. This is perfect for testing a specific transition. We also have the BPM match button, which essentially controls whether the software will automatically adjust the BPM of the tracks being mixed together. And finally, we have the three PFL buttons next to the timeline, which can be activated one at a time. The top PFL button previews the tracks in the top portion of the timeline, the middle PFL button previews all tracks in the timeline, and the lower PFL button previews the tracks in the lower portion of the timeline. Now let's move on to the next step and see how all these tools work together to perfect your playlist. As I mentioned earlier, files in your playlist are grouped in pairs to make it easy to edit the mix out point of the current track and the mix in point of the upcoming track. For example, if I select the first song in my playlist, you'll notice that the second song is automatically selected as well. The timeline also zooms in on the mix point between these two tracks, allowing you to make precise adjustments. Now focus your attention on the blue bar on the timeline. This is the mix point indicator. It's your main tool for editing transitions. In this case, the top waveform represents the song that's mixing out. The bottom waveform represents the song that's mixing in. And now the mix point indicator shows when the mix out of the first track begins and when the mix in of the second track ends. To adjust the length of the transition, click and drag the edges of the mix point indicator to shrink or enlarge it. This first track ends at this point, and the second track starts at this point. I want to initiate the transition somewhere in the middle of the first track. So what I'm going to do is drag the second track forward to the point where I want the transition to start. Then I'll adjust the mix point indicator by dragging it in order to define the mix in and mix out points. And finally, I can fine tune both tracks to ensure a smooth and natural transition using the match BPM button. To test your transition, simply double-click anywhere before the mix point on the timeline. This will play back the section so you can hear how the transition sounds. Now that you understand how the Automix Editor works, it's time to explore the best transitions you can create with it. When it comes to creating smooth and dynamic mixes in the Automix Editor, two popular transition techniques stand out, beat matching and cutting. Let's start with beat matching. Beat matching is the art of matching the beats of two tracks in order to create a seamless transition. This technique works best when the BPMs of both tracks are similar or can be adjusted to match. In a beat match transition, the outgoing track gradually fades out while the incoming track fades in. With both tracks' beats perfectly aligned during the transition, this creates a smooth and natural progression that keeps the energy of your mix consistent. Now let's look at how to initiate the beat match technique on Automix. I've preloaded two songs on the Automix playlist, one at 120 BPM and another at 128 BPM, this will test how the Automix editor handles big BPM jumps while ensuring a smooth transition. A key feature for beat matching is the beat grid, which is represented by these alternating black and gray bars in the Automix editor. The beat grid visually represents the beats of each track, and it moves along with the waveforms as you adjust the position of the songs. Aligning the beat grids ensures that the beats of both songs match perfectly during the transition. This is essential for a smooth and rhythmic blend. Now that you understand the beat grid, let's move on to step two, selecting a transition point. The first thing you need to do is identify a point in the outgoing track where you want the transition to begin. Once you pick the transition point, drag the second track to that position on the timeline.
Now adjust the mix point indicator to define the duration of the transition. To make sure that the beat grids are properly aligned, you can activate the beat match option at the bottom of the auto mix editor. A good alignment would be when the black and gray bars match up between the waveforms. Once you complete aligning the beat grids, you can test out the transition on the decks. To initiate your Automix playlist, head to the Automix menu and click on Start Automix. Or simply click on the Automix button on top of the sidebar. By aligning the beat grids and closely matching the key and BPM, the Automix seamlessly blends the tracks together, despite the BPM variation. Now let's move on to the cutting technique, also known as drop mixing. To initiate this transition on the auto mix, start by identifying the point in the first track where you want the transition to occur. This could be the end of a verse, a beat drop, or any moment where a sudden switch feels natural and impactful. Now position the second track so that it starts playing exactly at the transition point. After aligning the two songs and picking your transition point, now we can create the cut and drop transition. To do this, start by zooming in on the timeline for precise editing. Now shrink the mix point indicator to cover only the very last bar of the first track. This ensures that the transition happens immediately at the end of the first song's beat and at the beginning of the second song. Now you can play back the transition to ensure the cut feels smooth and if needed, fine tune the mix point indicator. Once you get comfortable with these two transition styles, you can repeat the same process until you have a full DJ set. Now let's talk about how to save and export your Automix playlist after editing. To save your playlist, go to the Auto Mix options and select Save as New List. This will prompt you to enter a name for the playlist, and once saved, it will appear under the My List folder in the navigation bar. So now, even if you reopen Virtual DJ and find that your playlist is gone, you can reload it by simply right-clicking on the playlist and selecting Load on Auto Mix. And when you open the Auto Mix editor, all your edits will still be intact, just as you left them. But what if you want to play your playlist on another computer? To export your Automix playlist, head to the My List folder where you save the playlist. Right-click on the Saved Playlist, then select Export. You'll then have several options about what type of information from the playlist you want to export. To keep everything safe, export all the data, including the songs themselves. You'll then be asked to pick a location to save the playlist. I'll select my flash drive so I can easily carry it around and play it on any computer. Now that the playlist has been exported, let's see if it plays on a different computer. I've plugged the flash drive into the new computer, and after opening Virtual DJ, if I go to the Navigation tab, under the flash drive, you can see the exported playlist file in red. To load it onto this new computer's auto mix, I'll right-click on the playlist and select Load to Auto Mix. This will load your entire playlist onto the Auto Mix tab. And now for the moment of truth, let's see if the playlist edits are still there. As you can see, all my songs and edits are here, just as they were on my main computer, and the playlist still plays perfectly, just like it did before. Saving and exporting playlists in Virtual DJ ensures your mixes are always safe and ready. Now here are some pro tips for using the Auto Mix. Picture this, you're in the middle of your auto mix, and someone requests a song that isn't on your auto mix playlist. At this point, what you do is, using the auto mix button, pause the auto mix. This will stop the auto mix from proceeding to the next track in the playlist, but it will continue playing the current song till the end. During this time, you can play the requested song, and when you are done and ready to go back to the auto mix, 
delete the songs you've played before, and then reactivate the auto mix. Alternatively, you can drag and drop the requested song onto the playlist below the currently playing track, resulting to the auto mix creating a transition for you. But it's always a gamble. That's why I recommend the first approach. The auto mix feature should not be a replacement for yourself as a DJ. The magic of auto mix DJing on its own should never be an excuse to not learn DJing skills. Sometimes you might be put on the spotlight with requests that are not on the auto mix, or maybe you lose your exported auto mix playlist. At that point, you should still be able to DJ and keep the show running. My advice is to instead use the auto mix as an assistant. For example, when you get invited to DJ at a party and don't feel like carrying your own laptop, just make an auto mix playlist and export it on your flash drive. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow DJs. And don't forget to subscribe to Young Simba Empire for more virtual DJ tips, tricks, and in-depth tutorials. Until next time, keep practicing.